Bitcoin mining. Simplest explanation. Bitcoin mining is something you may have heard about, a lot. If you have assumed, that Bitcoin mining involves unearthing some ore from the ground, with help of protective gear, you are not alone. Luckily, Bitcoin mining is a lot easier, though it can't be compared with copper mining, or gold mining. Bitcoin miners are not people with picks and shovels, but rather owners of sophisticated computing equipment. The mining is done with the help of computers. Bitcoin is a cryptocurrency, that is used for trading and transacting in the digital world. What is Bitcoin mining then? Well, we have a whole video, to get into the details. Let's start with the basics. We know in the crypto universe, cryptocurrencies are traded, as well as used to buy different products, and services. Each purchase, or change of hand of a cryptocurrency, will involve a new transaction. Well, somebody has to validate this transaction. A Bitcoin miner's job is to validate the new transactions, as well as solve a mathematical puzzle. More about that puzzle later. We have chosen to focus on Bitcoin mining, to explain the mining process, because Bitcoin is the first cryptocurrency in use. However, the mining of other cryptocurrencies or blockchains, are all very similar, though the hardware and software differ from Bitcoin mining. Let's stick to Bitcoin mining for now. Bitcoins are stored in a digital wallet. Whenever a Bitcoin is traded in an exchange or a marketplace, the Bitcoin changes hands. Now, how do we know that the person who traded the Bitcoin is actually the right owner of the Bitcoin, or even if he is the real owner, how do we know if the same Bitcoin was not spent twice, a process called, double spending. All transactions that occurred on Bitcoins are stored in a blockchain. Please watch our video on blockchain technology, to learn the details. However, let me give you a brief idea of what a blockchain is, so you can follow this discussion better. Blockchain can be considered as a database, or more accurately a distributed ledger, in a decentralized network, containing a bunch of blocks, connected through a link. The link between the two blocks in a sequence of a blockchain, is a unique value, known as hash. The Bitcoin blockchain contains the information of all the transactions, that have happened with Bitcoins in circulation. The copy of this Bitcoin blockchain exists in each and every computer, that is connected to the blockchain network. This distribution of the blockchain, in several computers, is what's called as decentralized network, against the data existing in a single corporate, or bank network. I hope you got some idea of a blockchain. Let's get back to Bitcoin mining. Well, the process of Bitcoin mining has evolved over time. When Bitcoin was started by Satoshi Nakamoto, by creating the very first block, and the associated transactions in the Bitcoin blockchain, he started the process of mining, in his own computer. He then joined with a few of his online friends, like Hal Finney and others, who also used their own computers, who then mined for Bitcoins. Satoshi created an algorithm, defined certain sets of rules for mining, and also set the limit of the maximum bitcoins, as 21 million. Every time when the total number of bitcoins left gets halved, the number of bitcoins, awarded per block is halved as well. For example, 50 bitcoins were awarded to begin with, when the total bitcoins to be distributed was 21 million. When the bitcoins left reached half of 21 million, namely, 10.5 million, then the reward started to become half of 50 coins, which is 25 bitcoins. Similarly, when the bitcoins left to be awarded, became half of 10.5 million, which is 5.25 million, the number of bitcoins awarded per block creation, became 12.5 bitcoins, and when the bitcoin left was 2.625 million, the number of bitcoins awarded per block creation, became 6.25 bitcoins. This has been the case, since May 2020. We still haven't explained, the process of bitcoin mining. Believe me, I'm aware of that. We are following a sequence, that best explains the mining process in an easily understandable way. 
Let's continue then. When the early Bitcoin miners joined in to create new Bitcoins, they received 50 Bitcoins as reward as we have seen earlier. Hal Finney was the first to mine after Satoshi Nakamoto introduced it, and received the Bitcoin rewards. Bitcoins started getting more popular and the number of transactions increased as well, resulting in the need for more and more blocks to be added in the Bitcoin blockchain. Now, we need to introduce a new term called mining difficulty. As the name suggests, mining difficulty is the level of difficulty in mining. In other words, the difficulty in solving the mathematical puzzle is referred to as mining difficulty. The founder of Bitcoin, namely Satoshi Nakamoto, wrote the algorithm, in such a way, that the mining difficulty is increased, when there are more miners in the network. As you know, the blockchain network is a peer-to-peer -peer network, like torrents, and in such peer-to-peer -peer network, the more the nodes, the easier it gets to share data. But, not with Bitcoin mining. Here, the mining difficulty increases with size, and the capacity, of the nodes. You may wonder why. Satoshi's idea is to make sure, that there will always be steady and uniform supply of Bitcoins. Right now, on an average, one block is created every 10 minutes, and will stay the same, irrespective of how many miners are present, due to the nature of the algorithm. Since the interest in owning Bitcoins grew, more and more miners got into the action, which resulted in an increase in the mining difficulty, needing an increase in computational power, for mining. This couldn't be achieved with even sophisticated CPUs. So, GPU, which is a specialized processor in a graphics card, that's used for making the graphic applications run faster, was used. The computation with a GPU, was almost 30 times powerful as a CPU. But, the mining difficulty grew even higher, where the GPU was not able to keep up to the demand, and so another hardware, namely FPGA mining card, was used, and from 2013 or so, a specialized computer, called ASIC, is being used, for Bitcoin mining. The processing is much faster with ASIC, compared to the previous hardware. Almost the entire Bitcoin mining is done nowadays, with ASIC computers, though GPU-based mining is still used, by other cryptocurrencies like Ethereum. The initial Bitcoin mining done by Satoshi, and his friends required some level of software integration, but with the modern ASIC computers, the human skills required to do Bitcoin mining, has gotten very low. So, if you were to join the Bitcoin mining community, what do you need? 1. You need a specialized ASIC computer, meant for Bitcoin mining. This computer is meant for one purpose and one purpose only. You guessed it. It's to do Bitcoin mining. 2. Then, you need to connect the power supply, internet cable, and then connect to the network, by entering the miner and other details, and that's it. Your miner is now ready to mine. We are now ready to find out what is the actual process of Bitcoin mining. Let's take a Bitcoin block, which is of a size of 1 megabyte. A few hundreds or thousands, of pending Bitcoin transactions, will be part of the new block in the blockchain. These transactions are collected by mining computers, which turn them into a mathematical puzzle. The first miner to find the solution for the puzzle, announces it to others on the network. This process is referred to as proof of work, or, POW. The other miners then check whether the sender of the funds, has the right to spend the money, and whether the solution to the puzzle, is correct. Once all the transactions are verified, and the solution is accepted by other miners, the new block gets added, to the blockchain, and the miner who got the hash correctly, is rewarded six and a quarter bitcoins, as well as the transaction fees, for all the transactions, that go into the newly added block. Now, you may wonder how the mathematical puzzle, is solved by the mining computers. We have a separate video, explaining the in-depth details, of how the hash is guessed by Bitcoin miners. Let me try to explain this, in the simplest way possible. The hashing algorithm used in Bitcoin is SHA-256, 
while other blockchains use different hashing algorithms like ET hash, script, X11, etc. Dot the mining computers need to use this algorithm to guess the hash of the new block until it gets the right answer. This takes a lot of computing power. The number of hashes generated by the miner per second can be in one thousands of hashes per second, as in kilo hashes per second, or mega hashes per second, giga hashes per second, tera hashes per second, or even more. The more the computing power for the miner, the larger the number of guesses, and better the chances of finding the right answer, before anyone else does. Currently, there is so much of interest in Bitcoin mining, as a way to make money, and hence, the number of miners is extremely high. There are large warehouses, known as farms, that are used in many places, within US, Canada, Russia, Iceland, etc., where a whole bunch of miners are connected, to the network and run non-stop. If you are trying to enter into Bitcoin mining, the chances of your ability to solve the hash is extremely low, unless you join your computing power with a bunch of similar computers, in what is known as pooling. So, in modern days, individual miners are non-existent, and the way to mine is to join a pool. Let's say, you buy an ASIC computer, put the necessary hardware and software, and then join the network. Depending on the processing power of your computer, a certain percentage of the Bitcoin reward and transaction fees will be shared with you. Finally, you may ask the simple question. Why does anyone need to do Bitcoin mining? The answer lies in the form of another question, what is the purpose of Bitcoin, or any other cryptocurrency? Because Bitcoin mining is the only way, to create new Bitcoins, and hence, Bitcoin mining is connected whether you believe in Bitcoins or not. If you believe in the idea, of decentralized network verifying the transactions, using cryptocurrencies, then you'd think Bitcoin mining is a very useful idea. If you don't, then you'll not value the idea of Bitcoin mining. Also, modern Bitcoin mining utilizes enormous amount of electric power and energy. On top of that, the heat the mining processes produce requires a large amount of water to cool. It's a clear environmental issue, especially at a time, when the world is trying to reduce global warming. China has been cracking down hard on all mining activities, Iceland has refused new mining, and many other countries are turning down Bitcoin mining for these reasons. The crypto universe is well aware of this, and they have come up with some solutions. First, the new algorithms written for other cryptocurrencies have made the power consumption lower, and GPUs can be used, to solve it. Second, renewable energy is being used for mining, in Iceland and other countries. Despite these efforts, the environmental impact of Bitcoin mining, is too large to ignore. Will Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies figure out a solution for the problems or, will the energy and environmental factors prove as weak points, that makes mining fade away? We'll have to wait to find out. Thanks for watching.